friends and welcome back to my channel and today I finally have a new art showdown for you. For this art showdown I'm going to be comparing two student grade acrylic paints, Windsor & Newton's Galleria acrylics and Krumbacher's Art Academy acrylics. Okay first off I'm sure some of you are wondering what are student grade paints. Student grade paints are specifically designed for art students to learn with. They mimic the properties of artist or professional grade paint without the cost. They're often made with artist quality pigments, but in much lower concentrations, or they mix a high quality pigment with a lower quality pigment that is a similar color. This helps to keep costs down and still allow the experience of working with high quality pigments. Now, there are many brands of student grade paints available, but I specifically chose to go with the Windsor Newton and Grumbacher student grade paints because they are very accessible. They are both available at Michaels, several different online retailers, and in some art supply stores. So to test both paints, I got a sample set from each brand. They both come with 10 tubes, and each brand has several different uh, sets that you can choose from. So the Windsor Newton set comes with 10 20 milliliter tubes and the colors that come in this set are lemon yellow, cadmium yellow hue, cerulean blue hue, ultramarine, cadmium red hue, permanent rose, phthalo green, yellow ochre, burnt umber, and titanium white. So the Grumbacher set comes with 10 tubes that are 24 milliliters and the colors that come in this set are cadmium red light hue, theo violet, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow medium hue, phthalo green, phthalo blue, raw umber, mars black, and titanium white. So to test these paints, I did two small 5x7 paintings on my favorite painting surface, the ampersand gesso board. So this one is the Windsor Newton, and this one is the Rumbacher. So I chose the subject of each painting based on what colors came in the set, mainly because I just wanted to play with as many colors as possible. Now before I give my pros and cons for each brand, let's see what uh, Windsor Newton and Grumbacher have to say about their products. So Windsor Newton's key features are high pigment levels, even satin finish, affordable quality, line of 60 colors, large 200 milliliter tubes, and 500 milliliter acrylic bottles. So Grumbacher says its key features are 40 brilliant process colors, metallic and iridescent colors, highly pigmented, superior tinting strength, 90 milliliter metal tubes, and strong adhesion. Alrighty, now that Windsor Newton and Grumbacher have told us about themselves, let's get into my pros and cons for each. Now, these pros and cons are specific to the paint itself and not on the set as a whole. I do have thoughts on these sets, but I'll talk about that after I get through my pros and cons. So let's get started and let's start off with Windsor and Newton. Very buttery. You can definitely tell that they are using their binder from their professional line. Very easy to work with. So there is a decent pigment to filler ratio, though there is more binder than pigment, which is typical with student grade paints, but it's not overdone. So the colors are very vibrant. They go on beautifully and they don't have any color shift, which is awesome. They are not terribly hard to blend, which is always nice in a student grade paint. So they have a pretty good open time. And open time means um, how long it takes for your paints to dry. So for acrylics, it's relatively quick, can be anywhere between a minute to an hour, depending on the application of paint versus something like oils, which takes days to dry. So last but not least, the individual tubes are less than $7 per tube for all colors, which is pretty awesome. That is a great deal considering the fact that these, the normal size for these is 200 milliliters and your average artist grade professional paint is less than 59 milliliters. So I would say that's, that's a pretty good deal. So the pigment load is definitely <laughs> lacking. Now, Windsor Newton does state on their website that the Galleria paint does have the professional quality artist pigments in it, but in a much lower concentration. I actually have the artist version of the Permanent Rose in this collection, and the difference between the pigment load is insane. That's also not fair to compare a student grade paint to a professional paint, but it just kind of gives you an idea about how much pigment most artist grade uh, professional paints come with. 
So another con about these paints is the fact that they are slightly translucent and it's a little bit hard to build up color in terms of opaqueness and in terms of uh, value. So, Alrighty, so let's move on to Grumbacher's Art Academy Acrylics. So these actually have a pretty decent pigment load. I was a little bit surprised at how much pigment is in these. Like, it's actually pretty surprising considering the fact that they're student grade paints. And they also blend decently well. So, so last but not least, they are less than $4 a tube. So, not bad. So I'm kind of meh about the binder that's used in these like it's kind of stiff it makes it hard to work with um, especially if you're trying to do a softer blending now they do blend decently well um, and that is thanks to their high pigment load but if you try to go for like super blended looks it's kind of so these paints dry super fast like way quicker than expected and I mean acrylic paints dry quick anyway but these were like ridiculously fast. I did try out some of my favorite tricks that I use to keep acrylic paint wet for longer and they did work pretty well. Retarder worked pretty well and I also used my tracing paper and paper towel trick that also helped. And if you don't know what I'm talking about then I suggest you go check out my video how to keep acrylic paints wet for longer. It'll be uh, up in the cards for you. All the pigments color shift and dry much darker than when they're applied or mixed. Now it is not uncommon for acrylic paints to dry uh, much darker than when they're applied but that's usually just an issue with like darker pigments and that's usually because most darker pigments are a little bit matte but with these paints everything dries darker including the lighter pigments. It's very strange. So those are my pros and cons for Winsor & Newton and Grumbacher's Do Great Paints. But before I give you which of these I preferred, I want to talk a little bit about the sets themselves. So this kit comes with classic and modern primary colors. And to be honest, I would prefer if this kit only came with one set of primary colors because it is a little bit difficult to mix a wide variety of colors when six of your colors out of ten are from the same color family. Like, especially when you're a beginner and you're just learning color theory, it can make it a lot harder to push your values from light to dark. So, this kit also does not come with black, which I'm totally fine with, um, simply for the fact that you can actually take all the colors and mix them together to get a very, very dark gray. It won't get as dark as black, but you can get pretty close. I would have also liked this kit to come with a burnt sienna because burnt sienna makes a wide range of skin tones from light to dark versus yellow ochre, which is only really good for medium to light skin, so. Or the last thing I liked about this kit is that it is decently priced. You can get it for between $21 to $25, depending on whether if you buy it from Michael's or an art supply store, and you can get it even cheaper depending on what sales are going on and whether or not you have a coupon from Michael's. So the one thing I really like about this kit is the color selection. It is excellent. They do a really good job balancing out the primaries with secondaries and earth tones. So you can make quite a wide variety of colors. So my big gripe with this kit is that it is kind of expensive. It is $45. Now it is a bit cheaper if you do get it from Jerry's. It's about $25 and a little bit cheaper depending on what kind of sales they have going on. But my local Jerry's did not have this kit and they did have it available online but I'm not sure how widely it available it is at other Jerry stores so so if you do buy them from Michael's make sure you bring a coupon because a coupon will give you a much lower price because some people forget their coupon and they end up spending a lot more money than they should have on the kit because they're too impatient to wait for it to be delivered from online Not that I've ever done that. Anyway, moving on. In terms of which of these products would I choose, I choose 
both of them. I'm pretty neutral when it comes to both of these. I think for being student gray paint, they are pretty decent. Am I wowed by them? Not really, but they both get the job done. Each of the cons for these come from the trade-off that you typically get when you go with a student grade paint. So you either get a really nice binder, but not a lot of pigment, or you get a binder that's kind of meh and a lot of pigment. So to judge them the same way that I would an artist grade paint or professional paint is really not fair. These paints are not designed to be top tier quality. They are designed for learning purposes. They allow you to practice and improve your skills without costing an arm and a leg, and a great alternative if you don't want to use something like craft paint. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you would like me to do a video in the future about the differences between student grade and artist grade paint, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to continue to follow me on this art journey, then make sure you subscribe. And if you like, you can also follow me on my Instagram. I post a lot about my artwork and current works and progresses on my Instagram feed and stories. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.